Hip Hop Zone. Hey, Hip Hop Zone kids, wasn't that praise song great? Legos, and there was a Jesus Lego man. Who could have thought of something like that? Jesus is our superhero. Well, it's offering time right now, and I really want you guys to have an opportunity to give into God's kingdom. I want you guys to get your parent or someone older that can help you to give online. And here's why we want to give. We want to give because we want to bless others. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 10 through 11, God says that he gives to those who give. And he gives us so much that we'll be able to give to anybody who is in need whenever we need to. And that's the reason why we have money. Yes, we can buy nice things, but we really want to be able to give to other people who are in need. At Embassies of Christ, we do a lot of giving. We have something called Food For You, where we give food to people who are in need of food. And we also give out uh, book bags, school supplies, coats. We do a lot at Embassies of Christ to give to people in need. And we want you guys to be a part of it. So when you give offering at Embassies of Christ, you're able to say that, hey, I got to help someone else get something that they needed. And that's what we want for you. If you're ready to give, there are different ways for you to give. You can give at the EOC Cash App. 
Uh, it's called EOC Church. And then also we have Givelify and we have our website. We really want you guys to give. And this way, when you give, God gives more back to you so that you can give again to anybody who is in need. I hope you guys are able to give. Let's get back into Adventures with Fidget. Hey, Amanda. Devil, how'd you get my number? I blocked you. Blocked me? Come on. You know you can't stop me. Yes, I can. I've got power. Power? You? <laughs> Your power is nothing. It's not my power. It's Jesus' power. Well, where is it? It's in my room. I'm going to get it. Yeah. Okay. You see it anywhere? Just wait till I find it. How about over there? Can't find it? It's here somewhere. Oh yeah? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Told you you didn't have any power. Now let me show you my power. I'm going to make you disobey your mom. And then I'm going to make you... What am I going to do? I have to find my power or the devil's going to hurt me. Maybe I left it at, at Fidget's house. Fidget! Hurry! Pick up! Fidget! Huh? Oh, hey, hey, Amanda. I wasn't doing anything. I was just, Fidget, um... I need you to focus. This is very, very important. What's wrong? I can't find my Jesus cape. Your what? My Jesus cape. Did I leave it over there? What does it look like? It's red with a J on it. Let me check. I hope he finds it in time. I know the devil's going to call back and I need to be ready. Ugh. Is this it? Are you serious? Yeah. Fidget, that's a sock. It looks nothing like a cape. Go look in your room. Okay. Hurry up! Okay, okay. What's wrong with him? This it? You tell me. Is it red with a J on it? Uh. No! I'm sorry. I don't see it. I'm sorry for feeling you. I just really need my cape. What do you need it for? I need my cape to fight the devil. So your cape has superpowers. Yep. To fight the devil. Exactly. I don't think that's how it works. Yes, it does. I used it before and the devil left me alone. The cape didn't do that. What did it then? You did. All by yourself. The devil's said my power doesn't work on him. Your power doesn't work, but Jesus' power does, and you have Jesus' power in you. How? When we said the prayer together, and you accepted Jesus as your Savior, you got his power too. Really? Yeah. I beat the devil all the time, and I don't have a cape. How did you beat him? I just used the scripture and told him no. That's it. Yup. It's him. Answer. You can beat him. You sure? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, Amanda. It's time for you to disobey your mom. Fidget can't help you. But Jesus can. Give him a scripture, Amanda. Devil, the Bible says, Children obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Ah! Uh. Keep going, Amanda. You've got him. I'm not going to do something with mom. No, go away. Oh! Uh. You might win this time, but I'll be back. 
I did it without my Jesus cape. You did it. Told you you didn't need it. You have Jesus' power in you. You can use it whenever you need it. Thanks, Fidget. You're welcome. I better go. I need to wash that sock before it gets up and walks on its own. Ugh. Okay, thanks again. No problem. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's time for our game. This game is super easy, and you can use things that you have at home. All you need is, like, two plates, or you can have two bowls, okay, or maybe some small cups. Either one of those works. You also need a straw, okay? Now, make sure that it's a, a bigger straw, not a very small straw. You want something with a big opening on it, and you also uh, want to be able to uh, suck through it, make sure there's no holes in it. Bendy straws are cool, but you might want to get one that's straight, okay? And then you need candy. Who doesn't love candy, right? So here we have candy. And you're going to put it in the plate or your bowl, or you can put it in your cup. Either one works. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of candy, as long as it looks kind of like this. So it could be a Skittle. It could be a plain M&M. It could be a sweet tart. It could be anything like that, as long as it's something kind of like this, so you'll be able to pick it up. And this game is called Suck It Up. Here's all that you have to do. With your straw in your mouth, you're going to suck up real hard and then you're going to get the candy onto the end of the straw using just your breathing. And you have to take that candy and put it onto the plate. That's just how it goes. Sounds good, right? I'm gonna give you guys one minute. We're gonna compete and see who can get the most candy at the end of the minute. On your mark, get set, go. Boy, I told him we cold. Black as hell, but we good. Till it's over, we bow. I know we misunderstood. I know they pressing me, they won't be sweating, believe me, but we never could. So when that weather be heating up, bitches to see us up under the hood. I, I, ice cold, watch your step. I'm about to watch my breath. So cold, ain't got no threat. Stand firm, I'm folded across my chest. So cold, won't set. When the time, on schedule. Way low, got our own level. So cold, need a cold metal. Leveled up to buy 10 dials. Yeah. Leveled up to buy 20 dials. Yeah. Leveled up to buy 30 dials. They drive bus below zero. We ain't moving, we two frogs. We can't move, we two. Time's up. How many did you get? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. How'd you do? I hope you did better than me. I feel like I need to practice my breathing because that was terrible. But I hope you guys have fun. We're going to move on with the service. Let's get into it. Yes, MCPJ and Little Fidgy Fresh. And we're trying to help you learn this memory verse. Y'all ready? I hope y'all can get it. Yo, it's time to learn our memory verse. Yeah. We're fighting the devil. Scripture comes first. Learn these words and you will see. Yeah. Using this in faith gives you victory. Second Timothy 1 and 7. Second Timothy 1 and 7. God has given us a spirit of fear. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. But a power, love, and of a sound mind. Second Timothy one seven. Second Timothy one and seven. With the memory verse stored in your brain, start yeah. using your power in Jesus' name. No matter what the devil throws, throw it back. Use the word of God and go on the attack. Shut the devil up when he tries to talk. Then throw him out like some smelly socks. Yeah. yeah. Smelly socks. Smelly socks, though, really, fidget. I mean, like... You know what else I would do? What would you do, man? I think I would hit, you know... I would beat him up with an old banana. An old banana? Yeah. I mean, what is an old banana gonna do? I don't... Okay. I guess. An old banana. God hasn't given us the spirit of fear. But a power, love, and of a sound mind. 
2 Timothy 1 and 7. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. But a power, love, and a sound mind. But a power, love, and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Smelly socks. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Hey kids, did you learn a lot today? I sure did. It's time for a review game. You guys ready? I'm gonna to try to answer the questions too. This should be fun. Question number one. Where is the memory verse found? Is it A, 2 Timothy 1 and 7? B, Proverbs 7 and 9? C, Exodus 3 and 5? Or D, John 3 and 16? I'm going to guess. A, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Yay, we're right! Question number two. Amanda thought her Jesus blank would give her power. Is it A, sock, B, snack, C, Bible, or D, cake? Hmm. I'm gonna pick A, sock. Oh man, I got it wrong. Question number three. We get power when we accept blank as our savior. Is it A, slime, B, Abraham, C, Jesus, or D, love? I know this one. It's C, Jesus. Yay, I got it right. Question number four. What was Jesus doing when the storm came? Was it A, eating? B, sleeping, C, watching TV, or D, laughing? I think it's B, sleeping. Yay, I got it right. How about you? Question number five. What did Jesus do to get the storm to stop? A, told it to be still. B, danced. C, screamed. D sang a song. I'm going to guess. Hmm. D 
Ashley sang a song. Aw, man, it was A told it to be still. It's time for the bonus question worth 10,000 points. What can you do if you see someone isn't feeling well? Is it A, ignore them, B, cry, C, give them money, or D, pray for them? I'm going to say D, pray for them. Yay, I got it right. How did you do? I did okay. Maybe I'll do better next time. Well, great job, everybody. Well, I hope you learned a lot today. It was just an awesome service. We learned that Jesus has power. He healed the sick. He raised people from the dead. And he even told a storm to stop. Isn't that amazing? And also, we learned that God hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. We have power because God gave it to us. When we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we have power. All we have to do is believe. Well, this is the end of our service. I really uh, will miss you guys, and I know we're going to see each other again. But before we go, I want to pray for you guys and just cover you guys for the week to come. God, I just ask that you cover everyone here, keep them protected, keep them from any hurt or anything that might harm them. I thank you, God, that they will all be healed. No sickness or disease in their body. God, help them to say no to the devil. Help them to fight. Help them to use their power. Help them to be able to be brave and be able to pray for others that are sick and lay hands on them. God, I thank you for a great week for everybody, a great day for everybody. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, you guys, take care. Hip hop.